It's the first Hudson River Derby of the year between NYCFC and the Red Bulls tonight in Harrison, New Jersey. It's going to be a great match between two hated rivals and two of the best teams in the MLS. And here to break down all things football, yeah, I said it, football is New York Post, Jake Nissy. Now, Jake, so let's start with the host. The Red Bulls had a pretty disappointing transition year in 2021, but they've really started to get back to their old ways this season. What has changed for this team? Yeah, just uh, just talking to Omir Fernandez, their, uh, one of their starting midfielders last week. Uh, it seems that Coach Gerhard Struber's philosophy has kind of really uh, taken more of a foothold in the second season. He said that, you know, everyone's sort of on the same page now with uh, how that team wants to play and, you know, the way that he wants to play as a coach. Um, and also just bringing in guys like Lewis Morgan and Luquinas, uh, you know, they're attacking talent. There's a bit more depth in that area of the field now uh, to potentially, you know, make a deeper run of the playoffs. All right. So NYCFC and the Red Bulls are currently first and second in the East. This game could be what the kids call lit. <laughs> How do you see this game going? Yeah. So, I mean, obviously, the last time that these two teams played actually in the U S open cup was four, nothing Red Bulls. I don't see it going quite that way tonight. Um, you know, obviously NYCFC are the defending champions and, you know, something that they will welcome this time is that Talis Magno and Santi Rodriguez, who are a couple of important starters for them. They each only played one of those three meetings, uh, started one of those three meetings each last year. So, uh, you know, in terms of games that are often tight between these teams, every game was, at most decided by one goal last season between these two teams. I think NYCFC will just have a bit more quality to tip it. I'll take 2-1 NYCFC. Ooh, 2-1 NYCFC. Everybody call the bookies on that one. All right, uh, NYCFC <laughs> will be visiting a Red Bull Arena, one of their many home stadiums in the past few seasons. But there are some rumors out there that the Pigeons may have finally uh, found a roost. What can you tell us about the stadium rumors? Yeah, so, uh, you know, I, I published an article last week just about sort of the stadium updates and how the fans uh, are feeling about it. Both the club and the Yankees, who are obviously uh, a minority stakeholder in the team, uh, expressed optimism and, you know, the way that the Adams uh, administration is engaging with them. And, um, you know, his office, Mayor Adams' office, tweeted out today, actually, that Today, or sorry, the June 19th, 2022 shall be known as NYC Football Club Day. So there's certainly a lot of optimism emanating both from City Hall and from both NYCFC and uh, the Yankees. So we'll have to see, um, you know, how things shake out. But uh, as compared with a year ago from when that South Bronx deal uh, fell apart, it certainly looks to be a bit more optimistic from that side of things now. Uh, we're definitely going to keep our eye on that. But the City Boys are ready to make some noise tonight against the Red Bulls. Thanks for joining us, Jake. Thank you.